This morning, a police sergeant is still in the hospital following that wild shootout. The Carrollton police chief reaching out to us overnight saying that Sergeant Rob Holloway was shot during the chase Monday and then crashed into a utility pole and had to be rushed into surgery. He was flown to the hospital, in fact. Meanwhile, the two other law enforcement officers are finally home with their families. Mara Sirianni joining us now with an update on how everyone is doing this morning. Mara. Well, I can tell you that Sergeant Holloway with Carrollton Police, he is still here um, in critical condition, but thankfully we're told his condition is improving. Meanwhile, Villa Rica officer Chase Gordy, he was able to leave the hospital last night. He rode off in a limo. Uh, we want to show you some video of that here because it was a uh, very happy moment. Uh, you see he's in a wheelchair and his arm is still in a sling, but two Villa Rica officers helped Officer Gordy into that limo and his girlfriend Peyton was by his side. She tells us one gunshot shattered his collarbone and while he is still in pain and he will need physical therapy, Peyton says Officer Gordy was up and walking in his hospital room before being released. He saw it there on his way home. The young officer rolled down his window for a quick wave. It's been crazy, but we're happy for the support, so we're glad they'll be going home. And again, just before three o'clock this morning, we heard from uh, the Carrollton Police Department there. They say that Sergeant Rob Holloway is able to now move both his hands and his feet. That is good news. He's also able to pick up a cup and able to drink from a straw by himself. And again, his family, specifically his wife, Stephanie, just wants to thank the community members for their support. All right, Mara, thank you. And so many people on the 11 Alive Facebook page are congratulating Officer Gordy on returning home. Many of you wishing the other officers a speedy recovery. It is 530.